cape Hey guys, how's it going? It's Matt from Fidelity Gaming TV and welcome to opening day here on Rusty Rogers Road of the Show here on MLB 15 The Show on the PS4. The 2016 season is here and Rusty and your New York Yankees are ready to get back to work in hopes of getting to at least where they were last year which is the ALCS and hopefully past that. So. Here's Rusty just taking some uh, warm-ups here at Yankee Stadium. Probably uh, not too many other stadiums you'd rather be playing in for opening day on your MLB team. Definitely a uh, pretty memorable moment. Um, this is the first full season for Rusty Rogers. He's officially a rookie. Last year, technically he was a rookie, but I think this year he's eligible for his rookie season. And he's ready to get going. He only had a month in last year in regular season before he got thrown into the postseason so really all together probably about like six to seven weeks of MLB service up until this point but hang on was that just a home run wow he just hit a home run I don't think that'll ever happen again but okay as he is done with his warm-ups and he is ready to go here in this one but yeah ready to start out his rookie season and you'll see here in a sec once we get the little um what do you want to call it it's not really a prospect highlight, but the player highlight, the player profile thing here. He did sign a one-year contract in the offseason with the Yankees, and I did this because he's on the verge of becoming something very special. He's 19 years of age, already in the MLB, and if, you know, right now I think he's at, like, God, you guys saw the last episode. It, it was less than a million, I know that. It was like 600,000, 700,000, something like that. And I only wanted to sign for one year because I think after this year, he is going to be really good. Like, he's an 85 overall now, I think, or 84, something like that. And I think after the season, this, this season is his first full season he's going to break through. And after that, they're going to be paying him some big bucks. So if he took like took like a two- or three-year deal, um, it would be we'd be getting paid like 700000 for the next two to three years instead of getting paid over a million starting next year. So here we go on opening day, Yankees Stadium in the Bronx against the Blue Jays. And the first at-bat of the season for Rusty is uh, not the best one. He'll get six points for the solid contact, but no base hit, and he is retired. Now he's in the field. First fielding opportunity of the season. You see we're already down 3-0 to the Jays, and wow, he, he got something on that throw. I really wanted to improve his throwing strength and accuracy in the offseason, so um, obviously before he was getting the job done, just not very convincingly, and uh, he is now. He's throwing it hard, and on target so he won't get the hit there either 11 points again for the solid contact we're in the six now runner in scoring position and check this out 0-2 count looks like we're doomed take a pitch high and outside one and two take a pitch low and inside two and two take a pitch inside three and two and inside again we just fought back from an 0-2 count made it a full count and took the walk that is great patience you don't see that a lot of times from young players especially a 19-year-old, so it's good to see that. 6 nothing Blue Jays now in the ninth, and this is not looking good for the Yanks, but uh, Rusty's just making sure they don't let anyone on base as he gets the speedy Jose Reyes, and uh, that's pretty hard to do. He's pretty fast, so he'll get the points there. Bottom of the ninth now, 0-1 pitch to Rusty. He's still looking for his first hit, and that one is launched into left field. Left fielder's going back, and that's going to sneak out of here. His first hit of the 2016 season is a homer to left. Wow, did not see that coming. Rusty is supposed to hit singles, doubles, and triples, turning singles into doubles and doubles into triples, but not homers. Wow, did not expect that. So he hits one in batting practice, and he gets one here as his first hit of the 2016 season is a home run. It was not very far. It just cleared the left field fence, and maybe by a couple of rows but yeah definitely the most shallow part of the ballpark Yankee Stadium I guess is a hitter's park but um man did not expect that what is that like seven rows up I don't know either way Blue Jays lose this one six to one only run the Yankees got was due to that home run by Rusty he goes one for three with a walk and an RBI with that solo home run and now we'll go over to Atlanta 
as I believe it is their opening day as they started out the season 2-1 and one through their first series. We are 1-2. and two. And at this point in time, if you're wondering, in 2016, one, Mac Money was not on the Atlanta Braves, and two, he wasn't even in the MLB yet. It took him until about after the All-Star break in the 2016 season for him to make it. So he is not playing Mac Money right now, and he's not getting a base hit either, as we'll get two points for the at-bats, but he could not beat that one out. He's in the field now, no score here in the bottom of the second. Runner on first, trying to turn a double play here, and whoa. Well, we turned it, but that wasn't the most normal double play I've ever seen. Kind of weird. He like flipped it up. It floated into the second baseman's glove, and then they turned it for two. But either way, we got the job done, and that's what we want. And it looks like we're going to get a hit here. Will they rule that a hit? Yes, they will. So Simmons, I thought that was going to be a clear base hit in the left, but uh, Simmons does a nice job running over, knocking it down. You can see he kind of almost glitched into his glove, but it just barely knocks it down. They're still giving us credit for the hit, which is a good call. Now it's 2-0 Yanks. Runners on the corners with two outs, and they're going to get out of the jam here by striking out Rusty. So, uh, you know, you, like I said, even though he's 19 years old, yeah, sometimes he doesn't play like it. Sometimes he still has to. He's 19. He's going to make mistakes. So chase that one low and outside. will go one for four on that single. But the Yanks do win 2-0. Ivan Nova with the win. So we'll go now to the next series against Tampa Bay here at the Trop. And uh, we are ready to go from St. Petersburg. Both teams are dead even at 500, three and three through the first six games in the season. And here comes Rusty to the plate, hitting 320 so far this year. The homer and five RBIs. Tampa Bay is already up to nothing here in the third. But Rusty's gonna get a base hit and advance that runner from first to second. So that's nice to see, 12 points for the at-bats as he is just trying to keep that average up high to begin the season. Game is tied up at two now in the fourth. Base is empty with two outs, and the 1-0 pitch to Rusty is hit up the middle. A nice stop there at short, and that is going to retire Rusty. So a nice job there getting him out. Yankees take the lead now, 7-4. An offensive explosion. Rusty's going to try to beat this one out, and he does. Wow, that's very good speed there. He is very fast. Uh, not extremely fast, but he's pretty fast. I think it's in the mid-80s his speed is. And he beats that one out, and he gets a base hit the very next at-bat. So the Yankees are going to win this one, as Rusty is going to get... Uh, that was the only base hit, I think, right? He did beat the other one out, but I don't think they called that a hit. That was the fielder's choice. Or maybe they did. I don't even remember what happened. All I know... No, yeah, he got a separate base hit a couple at-bats earlier. So we'll go two for six in this one with a run scored. So that works. And now we are coming back home. 6-4 against the 6-3 Red Sox, who knocked us out of the playoffs next last year in the ALCS. And it's Jackie Robinson Day, so not a better uh, place to play in uh, if you're in that, or performing in Jackie Robinson Day or in that number 42. And uh, you see there, that's not phasing him in the infield, making that play over to first. So he's not hitting 286 this year. That's last year's stats. But uh, the Yankees would love to win this game, this series, in fact, just because... The rivalry with the Red Sox was reunited, and this one was hit pretty deep into right, but that's going to be caught just before the warning track, so Rusty is retired. Six points for the solid contact, but that is it. But, uh, yeah, a win here against the Red Sox would, would really help, and Rusty is going to get a base hit. Actually, he can go for two, but he has to wait because the runner going to second, who is now going to third, was very slow to react, and you have to be slow because I wasn't sure there. Um, who is that out in rights? Is Hanley Ramirez, does he play right? I can't, I think that's Hanley Ramirez. I'm not even sure now. I'm not even going to guess. Anyways, he stumbles and Rusty has to stay at first. That kind of sucks. Could have got a double, but he had to wait for the guy to go to second, who ended up going to third. And the next stat bat, he will only get five points, no base hit there, and he's retired. He yanks up 4 nothing here, and you see Jackie Robinson's number on the far right, number 42. Like I said, pretty cool to be wearing a Yankees uniform on Jackie Robinson today. So the Yankees will win this game 6-3. Masanero Tanaka with the win, Joe Kelly with the loss, and Rusty will go 1-4 for four with the single. So nothing special there, and that is going to do it for this episode. First one in the 2016 season for Rusty. So the expectations, uh, at least for me, to, for Rusty, are pretty high. Um, and I think you could say the same for the management. They expect him to do good things and, like I said, hopefully getting paid some big bucks next year. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Tomorrow we have some San Diego Padres franchise for you guys. If you did enjoy the video, please leave a like. Make sure to subscribe. Check out our videos. And as always, peace.